Deputy Chief Elections Officer Roxanne Myers was not required to plead to the charges, which state that between March 4th to March 14th, while being a public officer, she willfully misconduct herself together with Claremont Mingo and others to declare a fraudulent account of votes for the general elections amounting to a breach of the public's trust without any reasonable excuse or justification. The second charge is basically the same but refers to the regional elections. The state prosecutor Tariq Mohammed objected to bail based on the seriousness of the offenses and the failure by the police to make contact with her for over a month in relation to the investigation. The Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan, however, granted bail in the sum of 150000 on each count. Myers has to return on October 23rd. She was represented by attorneys Nigel Hughes and Ronald Daniels. Daniels spoke with the media outside the court on Friday. She was granted bail in the sum of $150,000 on each count, so that would be a total of $300,000. Um. Now, the, the prosecutor objected to bail quite naturally, as expected. And the prosecutor objected to bail based on the seriousness of the, um, the offence, which is a rather standard objection, saying that Ms. Myers uh, was attempting, um, for want of a better expression, to undermine uh, our country's democracy. The prosecutor, as one of the basis for objections, also indicated that uh, the police have been making feverish attempts to contact Ms. Myers. The Ghana police force had said Myers turned herself in on Tuesday last, following over a month during which several efforts were made by the police to contact her even at her place of work in relation to the post-March 2, 2020 elections incidents. However, Daniels told reporters that Myers was asked no questions about her alleged role in attempting to commit electoral fraud while she was in police custody. Myers was kept in police custody up until her arraignment at the court Friday. During the interview conducted or with Ms. Myers by the officers who have conducted the investigations, no question was asked of Ms. Myers uh, pointing towards her participation or role in the conduct of these elections. Nothing uh, was put to Myers, uh, Ms. Myers to the effect that uh, she had conducted herself inappropriately during the conduct of uh, these uh, elections. Does there have been any witness statements to, to bolster these charges? There haven't been any witness statements. The prosecution has indicated to the court that they have not completed investigations. The prosecution invited the court to have them return in two weeks. The Ghana police force in August announced that a comprehensive investigation was launched into allegations of criminal conduct by GCOM officials in relation to the March 2nd polls and the events that followed. The Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowenfield and Returning Officer of Region 4, Claremont Mingo, were already arrested and charged in relation to the probe. Lowenfield and Mingo are already facing criminal charges in the Georgetown Magistrates Court relating to fraud, misconduct in office and breach of the public's trust by providing results of the March 2nd elections known to be false. Lowenfield also appeared in court on Friday and his attorney, senior counsel, Neil Boston, spoke with reporters outside of the court. Well, today is not, wasn't a day fixed for trial. It was for further disclosure where the prosecution would have laid over statements of witnesses that they wish to call to establish the charge against Low and Field. But they were not up to it today. They never made any disclosure. All they keep saying that the DPP has made up our mind to do what we do not know. The DPP has not written to them setting out what she has in mind but they are of the view that she may do so by the next disclosure date. I think it's politically directed. The whole idea behind these charges is to remove low and field from GCOM. That is only a question of time. If the DPP takes over, we will see interdiction pending the hearing and determination of the matter. 
The charges against Lowenfield were filed on June 30 by People's Progressive Party member Desmond Morian and member of the new movement Daniel Josh Kanai. The trial in relation to the charges filed by Morian will start on November 13, while the charges filed by Kanai will begin on November 20. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.